Hi guys and welcome to Breath of the Mornings once again. So I was on vacation uh, last week so <laughs> I'll just be doing a recap. So of course since I was on vacation I'll, I'll, I'll be doing a recap first before I start streaming. So of course since I was on vacation and I had my trusty switch with me of course I'd be playing this on the bus or whatnot while I was waiting for stuff to happen. So. Anyway, recap, uh, I was able to pull the Master Sword previously already. Already got enough hearts, so yeah, these were still have these tests and stuff. Wait, let's see. Let me check back. Uh, uh, okay, so this one, I still, I only had five hearts still. I did the trials, Master Sword here. Yeah, friends like Don helped me with this and okay the trials got to pull the sword cutscene story cutscene so this is one of the trials croc trials uh, navigate using magnesis and yeah this tree wants stuff <laughs> ah, I was able to <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. So <laughs> Link swimming and then grabbing that stealth fin trout. Okay, there's the shrine. Complete. You go in the shrine and then you just get... It's already a blessing because... Uh, Karak trial, I guess. Okay, ancient core. And then... Oh yeah, this one was so darn frustrating. I spent a lot of time here. Because the guy I, I kept getting spotted by this guy spent a fair amount of time there yeah oh man that that was really frustrating I spent a whole hour on this guy so I even tried using what was this oh yeah uh, stasis to help me see better in the dark but yeah and yes finally after an hour or close to an hour trials done and yeah this guy's happy that he felt that he did it all alone and get blessed again ancient core spirit orb yeah this is the guy were granters of boon so this is the guy who allowed me to trade my stamina vessels for heart vessels and then this one is uh yeah there's oh, what the <laughs> lol so yeah we were <laughs> Uh, wait so this one was a trial where you had to use Korok weapons and then just fight fight it all the way until the shrine this one was when we were playing during a persona event <laughs> someone pressed the snapshot button what is this I don't remember this okay bomber man people suddenly pressing the snapshot buttons anyway test the food okay we do this inventory is full right 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 so Gives me all the corrupt armor stuff. Yeah, it's a pretty good shield. 30, 30 defense for the wooden shield. That's pretty good. The bow lets you fire three arrows with one shot. Force blow sword, 22 for a wood weapon. That's pretty good. Also cut stuff, but it is very, very prone to breaking. So finally get to this shrine. Yay, pass the test of wood. Happiness awaits you at the shrine. And then, yay. And this guy is like, oh, amazed that you finished all the trials. You are so kakoe. And oh, that's what he gives truffles. He loves truffles. And riddles. Yeah. Great Deku tree. Pretty nice view. Look at that. Okay, yeah, I still need to like uh, free the divine beasts, and then here's the dude trials, and then thankfully I had everything already. So it's it's riddles, and then thankfully I had an apple with me, and then next one was uh, it's yeah the pumpkin because he said it was Kakariko Village's specialty fruit good thing I had one with me and then uh huh yeah he said like a warm mushroom okay good thing I had sunshrooms with me uh 
And the last one. Oh yeah, okay. So this one's Voltfin Trout. Good thing I had one of those as well. And then Hoof. Starts with an H, ends with an Oof. So it's a Hoof. Good thing I killed a Lionel already. And there. I get a diamond for all that. Okay. Took some pictures. I think. And then gliding down. Oh yeah, Miro Shaz. Rai was ranting about this. But it was a pretty fun trial so you just had to play golf so first thing I hit it too hard and it flew ways off and then finally I sink the hole in one and it's all good I thought that was the end of it but no this one you just had to hit this really hard and that uh, looks like a curtain that stone curtain just turns and then you're able to proceed to get your spirit orb and then random stuff going around Hyrule I see this thing I put it there and poof Korok comes out and then Yiga clan so uh, they've gotten stronger they have a better weapon right now they have this demon carver does 40 damage they're still around although I've already dealt with Master Koga and yes I got my ginormous horse I named him Big Hoof <laughs> Okay, and then yeah, I was trying to bring him to a stable. Then this Lionel shows up again because Blood Moon happened, so he's alive again. And yeah, I, I was able to deal with this guy. And there was another one actually as I was riding to the stable. So I just tried to gallop as fast as I could. But this guy is a tank. He's slow, but he can uh, take damage. So yeah, then I stumble upon this mounted archery camp minute and nope decided to go to the stable first and then yeah I named him Big Hoof <laughs> Big Hoof because like Bigfoot the monster truck then I decided then it just dawned upon me later that I should have named him Tank or something <laughs> so I try so this one thankfully it, getting that huge horse was already part of a quest see look at that and looks into the big horse and gives me a hundred rupees this guy I tried my best to do the mounted archery thing <laughs> I did really bad I just got four arrows and then more galloping with big hoof and then I fall off a cliff and yeah I'm unable to go back and then he's stuck there unfortunately find fish in the beach yeah, I forgot what beach this was. So most of the beach or coastal areas are inhabited by Lizalfos. They love the water. So here's another crab, new new creature I caught. I found a Korok uh, and get an opal on this chest. What else? Uh, poor G. Oh yeah, and then this was um, when I learned about the crafting bit. So the crafting bit in this game is actually the fairies. I wish I did this sooner. I thought it was a, a one-time blessing deal, so yeah, sucks to be me. Okay, uh, these guys. I just decided to kill them off with bombs. New bow from Rita Warriors. Pretty weak though, just nine damage. Uh, Lizal shield, steel Lizal shield. So it's a, uh, it's an upgraded Lizalfo shield. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay, so. When I find rocks, I also take snapshots because you don't know that there's a core rock under them. And what's this? Find some shock arrows somewhere and then run into another core rock. This was the Thunder Plains, I think. Yeah, Thunder Plateau. I haven't figured this out yet. Uh huh. Just put this here so that I remember what to do next time. Hopefully. And yeah, under that stone was another core rock. This one, I tried to see if I could bomb them. Nope, that failed. So here, also here behind this stone, uh, caved in stone thing, uh, just on the mountain, is another rock and another co-rock. So I got this horse and I find this forgotten temple. It was pretty cool, so get underneath that steel door, there's a stone and another co-rock, as you guessed. So here, Another stone, another Korok. And as I enter this temple, oh my, it's like, oh my goodness, like <laughs> a ton of guardians just aiming at me. 
and then so yeah uh, practicing my parry so that I can send lasers back at them so you get further in you find the shrine and you are already worthy just by entering the shrine because you had to go through a ton of guardians and what is this ancient columns uh, oh right this one this part was really frustrating because uh, I noticed uh, the moon the moon was like a crescent moon and then it was really shiny uh, I saw this really shiny spot on the map but I was uh, zoomed out and doing the, the first person view and then lo and behold I forgot this was at some shrine and then you have all of these uh, blurp blurpies burpees whatever they're called and then you have this guy who's called the uh, uh, was this uh, guardian of the mountain or something I tried to mount him and I fail miserably so yeah the moon is crescent and then really bright and then he appears so I reload my save unfortunately he's gone yeah blow this up and there was a Korok under that pile of rubble I find alright Sandin Park ruins yeah I should go back here because there's a memory and I decided not to go to the memory because I want to catch that in record so here another rock another Korok this one was yeah there was a Korok here you you need to touch the flowers in the right order there was a Dorian so yeah Dorian tree and another Korok and then rock and then you get a chest oh yeah there's a giant boomerang I didn't get it yet so I marked it there get a forest dwellers boat random chests opal shock arrows uh, right 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 so this is I'm, I'm, I'm almost done so this one I was surprised like what's up with these huge chunks of ice and then apparently you've got frozen bokoblins and moblins inside them <laughs> uh, he's angry ah oh, wifey was playing this with my younger cousin yeah, okay here took another snapshot of that got some ice arrows from there and I got a blizzard rod from um, from one of those whiz robes so okay purple rupee from the chest and then I find the shrine and I get here Kima Kosasa shrine so I was exploring the cold Gerudo and Hebra regions uh, okay so it's a major test of strength I decide not to tackle it first not to tackle it yet well actually I did but I wanted to record this so I learned something really cool you can just parry the spinning guardian and okay what is this oh this was under some something in the Hebrew region okay I'm bleeding <laughs> so there was a gold rupee 300 rupees and then I went back to Kakariko village to solve this puzzle that I didn't know how to solve back then just sh gotta shove that thing in that um, hole there and you get a Korok again and then <laughs> this Yiga clan dude is back yeah that same I've already seen that speech before and then for Master Koga and Korok from this on the Hebrew mountain I get four swords bow yeah when I decided to teleport that's when I saw the shrine right next to the stable and then here yeah I got to the Rito village decided not to save uh-huh that's black and then there I get to this Rin Oya shrine and it's right next to the stable directing the winds pretty fun you put this it's like it goes on like uh, one of those Rube Cliffberg machine thingies like <laughs> it'll just follow the wind and then poof it'll get inside the place where you're supposed to put those ancient ball thingies and get an ancient core and here's the snowfield stable it's pretty cold and then this guy I thought it was a quest but nope he's just ranting and then beetles here and he's freezing like crazy and then this guy is looking for his old friends probably dead maybe not huh. maybe I'll find them and I got stuck here so there's 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 a shrine behind these doors I have no idea how to open them get this thunder blade but of course I don't get it because I don't have space I just marked that on my map pretty cool I, my original thunder blade is still f not broken thank goodness 
Warbler's Nest. I get onto this pedestal. I have no idea how to op how to activate it. And then here I chuck the rock in the well, and a Korok comes out. Sha Warvo Shrine. All right, this one Path of Hidden Winds. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, you just have to find this hidden wind turbine behind the column. And here, Rito Flight Range, and yeah. Alright, so this is Wifey giving her own, uh, trying to play Breath of the Wild as well. Okay, so now that's done, I'm just going to start a new stream. Oh no, what happened? <laughs> 